Lebo, get this stuff offloaded and into those transports before they take off. I just found out the Empire is about to ruin our day. Han Solo told me that Imperial walkers have been spotted on the East Ridge. I'm gonna jump into a speeder and help Rogue Group slow them down. Don't get your servos in a twist, pal. Just make sure you collect the money for this load by the time I get back. And be sure to count it this time, will you? <laughs> How nostalgic. The long-lost brothers meet at last. What's wrong? Looking for someone to hold your hand? Miss your older brother? Or were you looking for him? <laughs> to those in my way, I grant a fabulous death. Come, receive my cold blade! All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an Exxon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty! Humans, hmm? Don't see them every day. Now that I think about it, there was another half-pint bumbling around earlier. This forest's starting to get nice and crowded these days. It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. When I did, my whole body just up and froze like this, and I couldn't move. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. <laughs> Die! <laughs> you don't stand a chance. <laughs> Deimos are nothing without power. Die! Out of the way! Die! <laughs> Not to these weaklings. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. Besides, you know the arrangement. You Sith don't interfere with Davik's business, and you all get a nice cut of his action. Do you know what she told me in those last days on the Outer Rim? <laughs> that the Mandalorian Wars were our doom, and that we had been deceived. That it had never been our decision to wage war on the Republic. Revan said the Mandalorians didn't invade the Republic space ten years ago because it was our choice. We were tricked. Our entire people sacrificed as pawns and never knew it. The evidence is overwhelming. First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant. Violating her corn-fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. I don't know who the hell you are, General, but you got a big mouth. Fuck you, Punisher! You ain't doing to me what you did to Bobby. Show him what Nucci's are made of. Don't screw with the Nucci's. Any last words, Eddie? My ma will never rest until you're dead! Tell huh? me about you and the Nucci's, uh, Duca. I was just dropping Bobby's name. I don't know nothing about him. Bobby's my boss, alright? He collects the money and gives me my take. I was beginning to get lonely. It feels like it's been years since Apocalypse put me here. Oh yeah. And you know what? She was almost worth getting caught for. You have my armor. This is just what I needed. I'm dying to pay back Apocalypse for keeping me prisoner. I am Kazar, protector of the Savage Land. But in England, I'm known as Kevin Plunder. 
I was born there, but I was brought here as a child by my father. He was a scientist searching for a rare element that could destroy any known metal. Shortly after discovering the element, he was killed, leaving me an orphan. I had quite a bit of help from various friends. This is no place to be without protection. While I was testing experimental equipment in the foreign land, a booby trap went off, sending shrapnel into my heart. I woke up to discover I'd been taken prisoner. My captor refused to give me any medical attention, unless I created new weapons for him. So in secrecy, I created a suit of armor with a built-in pacemaker that kept me alive. I wound up using the armor to help me escape. Target acquired. Target specification. Mutant. X-Man. Wolverine. My designation is Warstar. I am programmed to destroy the Omega base and anyone who would offer resistance. Kangaroo Commando isn't so much of a role as a way of life. I do my own stunts. I even build my own gadgets and special effects. We could team up! Did that once with Marsupial Man, until I caught him putting all my gadgets in his pouch. I go solo. Thanks. Looks like we both can get the job done, with or without our costumes. I'm the real Kangaroo Commando. I built all the gadgets and special effects while you took all the credit. So why did you kidnap Dean? Because he ripped off my idea. Can't anybody come up with anything original in Hollywood? But now the world will know at last who the real creator of Super Alien Hero Buddy Adventures really is! And now these messages. Bacon-flavored toothpaste? Why didn't anybody think of it before? Do you want to be cool? Do you want to be rich? Well, how about having hair anywhere you want? You can have it! Get a jump on puberty or just look cooler than ever before. It's if you're talking directly to me. So don't wait. Go and get some now. He's gone wild. Take him down. An army marches with him. More men than I've ever seen him marshal. Where did he find them all? Not in Prince John's backyard. Aye. For we have intercepted every letter the troublesome sheriff has sent to the prince. Not one of his requests for troops and armaments has passed through Sherwood without our pens upon it. I was sent to offer you this chance, and that is all. He has his reasons, and he doesn't have to explain them to anyone. Do this, and you will be pure. I was pure? So you say. I'm not here to debate. Do this, and you're free to be with your Catherine again. You were chosen because of your abilities. You've managed to survive this long, and that is impressive. This is what has set you apart from the others, and he thinks that you're the only one capable of pulling it off. Well, you've mastered cub finding and basic wall climbing, but it's time for the true test. That wasn't a true test? Then what was it? More like a pop quiz. Now this next right is something that every lion must know. Our most sacred ritual, musical chairs. You're kidding. I never kid about rituals. Or chairs. Or anything. Hey, Mr. Man! Something's wrong! My basement is in the attic! The science museum is history! The lost and found is missing! It was unbelievable! It lit up my bedroom like the middle of the day! Toddler fodder. You got a little key for yourself, didn't you, Ken? Ah, all them toys are disposable. We'll be lucky if they last us a week. <laughs> You are your state of kind material, freshman. Oh, thanks. No, no, no. no. He's an Omega Howl guy. Back off. We saw him first. No way. HQ. I've got unidentified forces in the area. Please advise. Who are my new friends? Another minute, HQ, and I'll just ask the gentleman myself. Clawhammer, huh? Your friends, the shadow element, caused a lot of damage. All is said, all is done. That's it! This battery's ours! Nice work, men. You've proven yourself worthy of wearing those wings today. Now it looks like we've got a long hike ahead of us. 
We're about 20 miles east from where we're supposed to be. Let's get to where the real fighting's going on. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among the decent Christian folk. I was asking you earlier about the treasure of Juarez. What wasn't stolen at the turn of the century is in the National Museum. It's an amazing treasure trove of pre-Columbian art. Pottery, stonework, sculptures, jewelry made of gold and silver and precious gems. Worth millions, but more importantly, an amazing cultural legacy. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. You said you would find a way. Maybe you are as skilled a warrior as our father says. It's good to see you. Come with me. We shall see what our enemies make of Solomon's army. My people are all but dead. You've seen for yourself the palace has fallen. There's no other way. If I can control this army, we can win this battle easily. And if you can't control it, what then? Would you have me retreat? And leave this power in the hands of my enemies? At least this way we have a chance! Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. I'm sure you're wondering what a laboratory like this is doing in the middle of a jungle. It's simple, really. We're developing, as well as testing various cosmetics, away from prying eyes. You see, our previous lab was firebombed by animal rights activists. But right now, we're dealing with a more immediate problem. The source of this bizarre infection. This is the Taliban. They have spies everywhere. They took everything and left only hurt. Please, you must find them. Find them and kill them all. Why should we trust you? Please. I have a daughter. I want her to go to school. I want her to be a person, have a life. Do you okay. not understand? Okay. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I, I'm a part of this now as well. Well, we came to provide a distraction for Aragorn, and what better way to do that than walking in the front door? Let's be about it. Hey, boss. We was just talking about you. Glad you got your, uh, mojo back. Let's send a message to these fucks that think they can hit us. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Trust me, I've known that for a long time. Nobody can change fate. What the hell do you think you're doing? You trying to be a hero? We've made inquiries with your government and they have denied any and all involvement in your activities. We tried to find this Ishigami, who you claim was running the op. No one knows where he is. But the group was calling for Hayabusa back in London- You are not the UN! You don't get to go running around trying to solve the world's problems. Your actions are a direct affront to the sovereignty of other nations. That is a very serious offense. 
Yeah. He looks more dumber than you. Yeah. Right is left? No, left is right. Right. So we turned right. Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or, well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? No, don't even think it. What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. Your passengers are still in grief counseling. Please leave before they see you. Can't I ride the train again? Banned for life. Good morning, Commander Shea. It is my honor to be your training school today. Can't wait to start Mission Nutrition. So just pick me up and we'll start filling you up with space fuel. Is something wrong, Commander Shea? Please say something, Commander. Are you waiting for another spoon? Julie, hide under the desk. Julie, while you're down there, shut up. I... I don't know. You know what happens then? I die? Hey, do I have to do everything around here? Huh? Do I have to do everything? I ask you to do one thing! ONE THING! Raise the kids, do the laundry, clean the house, suck my dick, and make the sauce! MAKE THE SAUCE! Alright! You call this shit sauce? Sorry, but you ain't giving nothing to nobody. There's no way you're getting these dice. Now get out of the way before somebody gets hurt. Yeah, that's right. We've been laying low for ten long years, waiting for the statute of limitations on Grand Theft Larceny to run out. And it was supposed to end tonight at midnight. Can't we just have the dice without the diamonds? It's too late, and you know too much. Well, I'll be. What are you boys doing with Mr. Maillard's white stallion? You know this car? <laughs> Know it? Heck, I used to drive it. Yep, I used to be Mr. Maillard's chauffeur back in the day. The name's Roger. Yep, it was good times driving this car. Me and the stallion, cruising the financial district together. So what's the trouble with her? I guess it's just like my grandfather Bot said in 2112. Anything is possible. Which one of you is the park manager? That's me, Benson. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Frank Jones, City Health Department. I've been sent to inspect your park. Now, if it's all right with you, I'd like to get this inspection underway. Well, that's it. Did we? You passed. Barely. <laughs> the department will be in touch. Wait, what is that? My trailer? Pretty sweet, huh? No human could possibly live in that thing. 2112, the last laser disc. The prophecy. What? Years ago, it was foretold four chosen ones would reunite the last laser disc with the last laser disc player and end the format wars once and for all. Look, we just want to watch the movie. In time, for you are the Disc Masters. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. The day we've worked for is upon us. Indeed. The VC Arbitrator. I'll handle this. A track. No! Attack! Easy, Kessler. Look, all the evidence is stacked against you and your friends. Unless you can prove you're innocent, we're gonna have to take you all in. Mmm, nice. Very nice. It looks like you two have a real connection. He's also got a real connection with incriminating evidence. Now hold up, Kessler. This is a big moment in a man's life. I got a voice-activated future gun here. Hello? Hello, Jack. Vicky. Silent mode. See? Vicky stands for Voice Input Calling and Killing Instrument. Whatever. Can you track down the scum that stole my car or not? Heck yeah, bruh! I just need half my payment up front. Half when you get your car back. And I only ask one more thing. That I can do whatever I want to the perps when I find them. See, in the future, violence is outlawed. Surfers love riding the waves, but they also love having fun. 
you, thank you. Let's give a big warm welcome to our bachelorette, Sheena Albright. <laughs> Sheena is a molecular biologist who loves tennis, Italian cuisine, and sloths. Now it's time to meet our three eligible bachelors. Welcome to Mud Mania! Put your hands together and your mud ponchos on for your two favorite misses of Mets, the Mud Angels, Peggy and Styla! Class, we have a new student joining us today. So tell us a little bit about yourself. As a third-rate substitute teacher, I have to say, you got school, Chimichanga Pax. Let's give the new guy the best parking spot on campus! I'm not copying. I'm reinterpreting. You're just recording our voices. Being silver makes it different. It's the same thing with a different color! Street law! If you can't take the heat, stay off the pavement! And Frank is out! Look at Mitch! Some kind of water technique! Heads I win, tails you're dead. No, no, no! <laughs> What'll it be, sir? Just a little off the top. You got it! <laughs> Looks like we got some troublemakers here, Glenn. Yeah, real turtle huggers, Hank. Time to take them to their shell. Their prison shell! <laughs> See what I did there? Turtles! Fresh out of the eggs! Oh, oh. Let's see if these pigs can fly. Huh? Do you see what I did there? Hey, why don't you turn that frown upside down? You know it's just my mask, Steve. You guys change up the masks and you didn't tell me. You make fun of me like this every Thursday and it's starting to make me actually sad. Oh. Steven! Yes, ma'am! Warm up a tub of butter from the pantry stat. On it! Here's your butter, ma'am. Yay! Woo! All right! Yes! Yes! That's me! Andrew Aronson! But I... What? I... Oh, now, slow down there, Chief. <gasps> you want to get there, you got to get by me first. The toilet keeper! Okay, so what do we have to do for you toilet us pass? All you guys got to do is unclog the toilet. Huh, that's easy enough. Good. Then start plunging. Oh, and the light in here don't work so good. Hope that's not a problem. Yeah, huh? I'm almost done at the house warehouse. Yeah, I'll pick up dinner on the way home. Love you. Bye. Yeah! Mordecai? Your mom come with you? No, man. Just my buddies. Aw, oh, dang. All right, then. Let's take a look. So, Mord, how's your mom been? Incredibly married. Still? Did you know Mordecai's mom and I used to date? Until that fateful night, the rain started to fall when... Uh-oh, a Rewind King X2. This thing's unbreakable. Well, can you just try? Only if you put in a good word with your mom for me, Mordecai. Dude, no. <sighs> Fine. You have come for the stomach. But first, you must prove you are worthy for the stomach. My interns have mastered all the most difficult Death Quam Do medical arts. We'll be back in a moment with an all new episode. Amy, we can't run Man Puncher. The man, the punching, it's too imitatable. This show needs a new name and premise, and we need it now. Could you make it about hugs? So that he crushes people to death. Uh, man, man Crusher! Crusher! Party's over! Because Professor Party Horse is out partying, I'm gonna have to give you this test. Party Horse, I know you're in there. Come out right now and take that U.S. history test. I'll take it when I want, which is never, old man. If you don't come out and take that test right now, I'm gonna blow up the Earth with this detonator. Welcome to my purple prom. Rental tux is in the back. Lobster party here. The customer is responsible for all lost or damaged tapes. I'm coming for that tape. Give me the tape and no one gets hurt. Ah, a Rewind King X2. Try blocking this. 
You're under arrest. On what charge? Making a ruckus.